Hi everybody, welcome to Missy's Imaginings. We're going to look at uh, something that I just wanted to remind you. We've talked about it before on the channel, but it's getting to be holiday season. And so a lot of stores will have these little throw blankets. And a lot of people think, well, they're really cheap because it's really thin. So it's not super thick like what you would buy yardage. But I got these little blankets for $2.50 at Walmart last year, maybe. Um, and I usually stock up if I see things I like. It's a pretty thin fleece fabric, and it has just the little tied, like a, not even crochet, but just a little looped over edge to make like a little blanket. But it's a thinner fleece, and it's awesome for sewing fleece items for doll clothing. So here I have a whole bunch, I think it's four hoodies in two different sizes all cut out and ready to go. And I still have tons of fabric left and all of this fabric was $2.50. So if you like to sew and you like to use fleece, whether with a machine or by hand, um, during the holidays a lot of times the stores, I know we have another store in the Northwest called Bymart. It's a membership discount department store, if you remember the commercials. But a lot of times they'll get little holiday throws for uh, seasonal things. And especially at Christmas, you can find really pretty little winter prints. But I also found these at Walmart. So be on the lookout for them if you want inexpensive, lightweight fleece to make doll clothing. It's just a really economical way to do it because... These measure, let me look here, 50 inches by 60 inches. So it's almost two yards long and it's 50 inches wide. So that's a lot of fabric for $2.50. Where if you go to get just one yard of fleece at a fabric store, when it's on sale, you might get it for $6.50. Um, but the yardage is often between eight and twelve dollars so this is a huge savings if you want fleece I even had some that I used for other things that were a camo print so be on the lookout it's just a great way to get some fleece and uh, add that to your fabric stash for not a lot of money and like I say I still have lots and lots of this piece um, to make more things so it's just a really fun way to get your hands on some fleece and uh, get ready for sewing and not run out of fabric. Then, as you can see on my table here, I have a lot of printed items I wanted to share with you real quick. So, first we have some hangers on like super, super easy, fast way to make doll clothing hangers. And then we're going to take a look at some ideas for the BJD registry. Um, I print, I put one on the website and then let people know about it in different Facebook groups and everybody really seemed to like it. It's not an idea that's original with me, but I really like the idea and I love to design. So I went a little bit further and I've developed some in different sizes. So let's switch up the camera and take a look. The first thing we're going to look at is the hangers. So this is what they look like. This fits clothing for a an SD size. You can adjust the pattern, design your own, however you want. But I was thinking I needed a bunch of hangers for the doll show. And thank you to all of you who came by. It was so fun to meet new collectors and new friends and then see a whole bunch of my old friends and be reunited. It was just a really fun day. So thank you for coming. Thank you to those of you who purchased things from my table. I really appreciate it. So I needed some hangers to hang up um, some of the items. So let's see, we'll put a little picture of my table over there. And uh, so as you can see, I have a couple new stands and I wanted to hang up clothing. And so I thought, how can I make hangers really fast and simple? So this is what we're going to do. I will go ahead and make a copy of this pattern and put it on the website with a couple little instructions. 
um, just for anybody who might miss the video. But it's just a simple, kind of weird looking piece of cardstock. And I used some file folders, but because that's all I had at the time, but you can buy um, pastel or bright colored cardstock if you would rather have a variety of colors. And so here we go. It's got pink, blue, green, yellow, and some cream that's kind of like the manila folder. So if you want to use more uh, variety of colors, you can do that. But all you need is some florist wire, and hopefully this will show up because <laughs> it's kind of small. And you take the florist wire. This is, I should measure it, right? Let's get my ruler here. This is an 18 inch ruler and the wire is originally 18 inches. So there you go. So it's just some florist wire, 18 inches long, and I cut it in half. Then I take the wire that I've cut in half and bend it in half, like so. And then I like to use some pliers just so that I can get the bend at the top really tight because I can't do it with my fingers. So I bend that. And essentially what we're doing is we're making the pretty end of the hanger so it won't snag any of your doll clothing. So once you have that in place, then you can kind of bend it over to make the hook of the hanger. So it look like this. And then I like to grip just where the, the twists are gonna start. There we go with my pliers. And then I'm gonna take these two uh, wires and just twist them down and it's totally up to your preference whatever you like and that forms the the tough part of the hanger so let's see oh and I need to grab well I'll use some of this because I have it um, I used tape before but then you just fold one flap down over the other like so and then you can tape the bottom, but I'm going to go ahead and use some of this uh, double-sided sticky stuff. There we go. And then you can also tape on the edges down here, and we'll put some here. There we go. And we'll fold this one down, and then fold this down, like so, to seal it. And then I have... Um, some of my logo stickers so we can go ahead and and I'm doing this without my glasses off so let's see if I can see the edge do we get it there we go and then go ahead and put your sticker on and that also helps seal it and voila you now have a hanger for doll clothes so super fast super easy all you need is some cardstock tape or sticky stuff double-sided tape maybe even glue you could use a glue stick and some florist wire and you've got doll hangers and because of the wire inside they are pretty tough and I had some actually pretty heavy um, little coats and things hanging on them and they held up great so that's an easy way fast easy way to make some doll hangers if you need some and you don't want to pay the prices that are skyrocketing on eBay for doll hangers so with that being said, we can put away the pliers and move on to our BJD registries. So here we go. We'll start with the one that was already posted online. And this is what the cover looks like if you print it in color. And the other side looks like this. And this is a piece of cardstock. And I actually have a friend who is a printer and so I do take advantage of his services. And so I got all these printed um, by my friend. Let's see if we can move some things out of the way. So to assemble uh, this one that's already on the website, the pages are double-sided and they'll print out like this. And then it's the same thing on the other side. So when you fold it, in half and now I do have to put my glasses on or I'll never be able to see the exact edges of the paper there we go so we're gonna match up the corners and just simply fold it in half like so 
Then it has pockets. Now let me find the right pockets. Here we go. Uh, a page of pockets that print out. They look like this. You have to cut them out. And so once these are cut out, you're going to fold the edge. And it's hard to see exactly where to fold on the back. So what I did is I lay a straight edge on the top and just have a little bit of the printing showing on the other side of my ruler here. And then just with my fun thumbnail, I kind of press up to create a score line. Then we'll do the next one. And again, I'm just going on roughly on the side of the printing, not on the white edge. Because when I fold it, I don't want any of the white, of course, to show. So then we'll go ahead and do the next one. Get that folded. And that just creates a score line that you can then uh, bend backwards. And it'll bend, um, it'll fold a lot straighter for you um, if you score that first. So there we go. Fold that one. And then the last one. Okay. And then once we have it all folded, like so, we can use, like say, the glue, or this is a, um, we used to call them a tape runner when we were doing a lot of scrapbooking. And it is like a double-sided adhesive, and you can get sticky dots or glue or these little tape runners. And, let's see, I'm going to turn it this way. You want to get your adhesive close to the edge of the paper if you can, and I'm not real good with this, but here we go, because you don't want all your goodies to get keep getting caught on the edge of the paper a lot. You can even take a piece of tape, and this was supposed to be double-sided tape, but when I peeled it off, it's kind of old, so it's only adhesive on one side. <laughs> So you take the side with the adhesive facing up towards you, well it's got a little bit of stick, along the edge of the paper so that it creates like a seam so that your stuff will uh, have a, a smooth seam and not the edge of the paper. But once you have the adhesive on there, like you want it, this is going to go on the piece of paper that has the purple and white. So it's going to go down here. I'll we'll just lay it on there, like so, and secure the edges. So what that does is on the page, you'll have one page for your BJD information, and then when you turn the page, you'll have a pocket for Certificate of Authenticity, for photos, uh, any other little items that come with the doll, like, uh, I don't know, what comes with them, but <laughs> some have little instructions for cleaning or any little memorabilia anyway that you want to have. So you put all your pages together and then, let's see, we need to fold this and I probably should score it first just so that it'll fold a little bit easier. So this is an eight and a half by 11 size. So I'm going to line it up on the edge of this paper here, or on my mat. So the center would be five and a half. So I'll line up that ruler. And here again, I'm just going to use my thumbnail, go along the straight edge there, just to create a score line so it will fold a little bit better. There we go. And then once that's folded, and you put all your pages in that all have the pockets on them. Then, now I I cheated. <laughs> I will say that I cheated. And I have a long arm stapler, which allows me to staple um, things up that are really long. So you can then take your paper with the the border or the border the cover up and then just simply put line this up on the crease and staple all your pages together once they're all inside 
Um, if you don't want to invest in one of these, because they're, they're a little spendy, but I was doing a lot of graphic artwork and um, a lot of booklets um, for youth group and camps and whatnot, so I needed to invest in this. But if you have a regular stapler, what you can use is just the stapler, open it up all the way so that it's open, and then get um, a piece of like bulletin board cork, something that you can staple into, and then line up your stapler and staple down, and then gently lift your book up, turn it right side or the inside out, and then just press those prongs towards each other um, by hand, like use a, a knife and just lay them down. And that way you don't have to have one of these. You can just use a regular stapler. But you just, you can't use a mat because the staples wouldn't go into it very easily. And then when you try to pull it up, you rip your book. So you want something like a bulletin board or sometimes you can get the little cork squares uh, for crafting. I think they might have some at the Dollar Tree. I don't remember. But then you can staple down into that. So that's how you put the book together. And I had... Um, a little mishap my printer guy he is so marvelous and you can tell by the quality of the printing he does it's just beautiful and I wanted uh, the things that I printed to be done on good equipment rather than an inkjet because obviously if it got moist or whatever with an inkjet printer it would run because it's ink so I wanted things printed uh, that use toner and heat to set it and uh, so I put in the order and a couple items got mixed up. So he he printed a couple things. Uh, they're beautiful, but they were just printed incorrectly. So I went ahead and thought, well, I can still use them. Um, I just need to add some more printing to it so that I can make it work. And so I ordered some more copies just in black and white, just because the printing is really expensive. <laughs> so... These are black and white, and I've assembled this book, so you can see, let's say we'll take one of our photo pockets here, um, but then you can just put stuff in the pocket. And so these books, I have enough to make six, and they will have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pages, or six, enough for six dolls. And, uh, so anyway, I'll have some of these available. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something that you might be interested in because I can put these on eBay for, you know, a couple dollars just because that covers my printing cost and then, you know, whatever it costs to ship them. I don't know what it would be. Um, so anyway, if you're interested, I'll have enough to make six. If I get enough interest, I'll maybe go ahead and make those available. And if not, I'll maybe just take them to the next doll show, or they might end up being some little prizes for something. But anyway, if you're interested, I'll see how it goes in the comments for that. So that's the size that's on the website already. It's just a half of an 8.5 by 11 sheet um, size. If you print it out, that's what it looks like. So let's move on. I... And I hope I don't get dinged for this. I guess I just won't say the brand name. But I love a disc planner. And so I have made my own cover for my planner and uh, my own dividers. And so I have my own system in here and printed out things for that. So I thought, why not make the BJD registry pages to go in the planner that I already have and that I already use. So that's what the second size will be is it will feature the divider that will go in your planner and this is what the divider looks like and then the the back looks like this and then these pages of course are larger and these will take a little bit of glue or adhesive as well, but you just need to be prepared that when you print these out, these have to be printed on tabloid size paper or 11 by 17 size paper because it's like two sheets of 8.5 by 11 paper side by side. 
So if you don't have a way to print that size, you will need to take it to um, a printer like Staples or Office Max or Copycats or if you have a printer guy. <laughs> Some, someone who has the capacity to print large tabloid paper, then you'll simply cut this out and then this will bend and fold on this line like so. And I didn't score this one. I'm eyeballing it, so hopefully it'll work. And then you'll fold in the tabs and adhere them down, and then it will look like this. So you'll have your information on one side and then your memorabilia pocket on the back. And what you'll need, <laughs> the next thing you'll need is a punch for these size of pages. So you'd have to invest in a punch. And they look like take this out and I was just excited when I found this because it, when I did find it I wasn't aware that they existed <laughs> so there we go so this is what the punch looks like it is for the specific planner it's called create 365 it's by me and my big ideas and you'll have to invest in this kind of a punch in order to punch the edge of the page so you can put it inside the planner. But here's the good news. With this punch, the punch works for both, uh, well, the small ones, of course, because they're even smaller than this, but the punch will punch this size paper to make that size planner page, and it will print the large size as well. So here's the big guy. So it will also print this size. So, again, to print out this divider, it will have to be done on the tabloid size paper because the tab on the end exceeds past the edge of 8.5 by 11 paper. So this larger planner, the pages are 8.5 by 11, and you can just uh, print the edges. So let's take this out. And here we don't want to mention the name that everybody already knows. <laughs> so here we go. So then these are the pocket sizes for these pages, and you would just fold back the tabs and put the page just or put the pocket right here. And then you've got all your page and your pocket on the same side of the paper, and then you can do the same on the back side. So I have a few printed out for my large planner when I start using this one. So there's three different sizes that are available for you to take advantage of. I will have all three of these uh, posted on the blog when I post the video. So if you like the large, oh, and then the other note, if you don't want to get the big planner or you can just make a BJD registry and print two of these so you have a front and a back cover, laminate them and just buy the discs separately. You don't have to buy the whole planner and then just print out your pages for your registry. It could go with either size and just have the book only for your registry. It doesn't have to fit into your planner scheme. But if you don't want to mess with all the discs and buying the punch, these will fit in a regular three ring binder. And you can just do a three hole punch and put them in that way if you don't want to use the discs. So the big one is a little more versatile um, because it is eight and a half by 11. So it will fit in a regular size three ring binder, at least in the US. So that's our our BJD registry project pages, what they look like, how you can put them together, and I will have them all on the website as well as the pattern for the hangers. So even though I haven't been here for a while, I have been busy, have been doing things, and just want to make things available for you that might help out keeping all your data organized because I love to organize and I love to design. So thanks for stopping by. Have fun with your planner. Um, have fun printing and putting things together and recording all that wonderful dolly detail information 
in a very safe and organized way. So until next time, uh, I'll say, I can't say happy sewing because we're not sewing and I can't say happy this because <laughs> though we're planning, it would be trademarked. So there you go. Have a great day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.